Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. So another much requested set for review and these are the Target Nathan Aspinall Gen 2 darts. Um, I bought these from Double Top Darts, very quick delivery on them. So let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 22 gram version, the 95% tungsten, they're also in 23, 24 and 26 gram in steel tip, 18 gram in soft tip and the retail for £84.95. So as usual it comes in this cardboard packaging, you've got a magnetic flap there, plenty of pictures of the darts and on the back info on the contents. I like that little touch on the tab there where it's got the little uh, snake head inside you've got the form inlay mold and everything in place you've got your target guarantee pamphlet and because they come fitted with the silver swiss points you've got your swiss point removal tool there and they're also fit with the target pro grip short stems and the number two standard shape aspinall gen 2 flights Alright, so as you can see, they're fitted with the Swiss Storm points, and I think this is actually the first time I've seen these. I don't remember seeing them before. I know they've been out already, but I just thought I'll have a look at one. Mm, that's a bit different. I don't remember the other uh, Swiss points having that extra bit with the split in. I wonder if that's something new. I think I might be able to have a look inside that. I've got a little camera, whether it'll work or not, I don't know. Um, but it certainly fits nice to the profile of the barrel. But it's got a kind of a slight, I don't know, like a coating on it, almost sandblasted. It's a different shade to the silvery tungsten on the barrel. But the barrel itself, a really nice looking barrel actually even though as you know I prefer green <laughs> I like the way they've done that the snake body and the tongue and put that bit in the the nail that's quite a nice touch I think the only issue with that is um, it's on three parts so if you're gripping on the part where the nail isn't then you may get a different feel for your grip so it's easy enough to just twist it round and get some of the nail low but where the bits where the cross cuts are it's actually not a bad feeling grip but it's a nice shape slightly front weighted but as you can see they've got the smooth bit in the middle so for mid grippers you might be a bit out of luck there but you got a bit of grip on the rear it's not massively grippy but nevertheless there you are and we'll have a super close look at that just now but it looks very neatly done and there's the pro grip uh, short stems and the aspinall gen 2 pro ultra standard flights all right so we're having a look inside the swiss point part of the barrel Very strange. I'm a nosy bugger. <laughs> so there's a super close look at the silver Swiss storm points. I almost got like a kind of a texture on them. And there's the head of that kind of like etched out snake shape with the tongue flicking there. <laughs> so you've got that tapered front there and the etching where that like nail part is it's actually quite deep deeper than you think and the nail itself looks uh, quite deeply cut so as you move along you get to the end of that and you've got the three grooves and obviously like i mentioned you've got sections where it's smooth and nailed and then you've got a wide smooth section around the middle with the target logo and then on the rear you've got the thin ring grip with the red and black grooves 
and that's it so that's the super close look at the Nathan Aspinall Gen 2 darts the darts fit with the 26 mm silver Swiss storm point you've got a tapered section at the front which has got that kind of like snake pattern so you've got a bit of nail on that that's 13 millimeters and then that kind of pattern continues under them two wide bands so you've got some kind of cross cut grooves that's 11 millimeters smooth section 8.7 millimeter then a thin ring and groove grip and a slightly wider ring at the end 17.3 millimeters length 50 millimeters widest 6.8 millimeters twenty two point two one grams twenty two point two two grams twenty two point two four grams full set up twenty three point seven four grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights so a bit of a strange one really because that front section has got quite a lot of smooth sections on it there's only really the knurl and the kind of snake body shape with the cuts so probably four for that seems grippiest on the next part which has got the more cross cut so I'd say 5.5 .5 at most the rest of the barrel is quite a low level obviously front weighted barrel so if you're a front gripper like me balance is quite nice um, not sure about that grip yet though some of the darts are going quite nice through the air I'm just wondering if it's the grip that's knocking some of them a little bit spinny like I say when your thumb goes along the smooth part you do kind of like just get a bit of the edge where the groove is but it kind of slips along and it feels like you're almost catching it a little bit but could just depend on how you hold it and release it may not affect everyone and then we're going through the air quite nice so that's not sure but I think I'll try it just where the cross cut grooves are I think it feels a little bit more uniform there it's not quite my natural spot like but <laughs> just for the sake of trying it definitely feels a little bit more consistent the grip on that bit one more try from there and then I'll try it from the smooth part in the middle the DSS dreaded smooth section <laughs> yeah it's quite okay throwing it from there like I say it feels just a little bit more consistent the grip so I'll try it from the uh, smooth part here Uh, mm, it's probably around about middle last one went quite nice but like I say it's got to be there for someone that smooth section <laughs> always seems to be there so if that's where it is for you and you need grip then it's probably not for you but otherwise it'll be okay I suppose now I think the front section is just a little bit more grippy than that rear 
I mean, it's not massively more grippy than the smooth part really from what I can tell rings are quite fine typical <laughs> oh that one spun right off one last go from the rear just for the sake of it Obviously, if you're into your front weighted styles and your rear gripper, it'll be fine for you, but not a lot of grip, I don't think. Probably just below medium level. A um, little bit more grippy around there. I think that's probably the grippiest section. So if you're not quite in the middle and not totally at the front, again, I think it'll be fine. On that very front taper, like I say, I'm not quite sure. Sometimes it feels as if my thumb's going a little bit slippy, but I'm kind of catching the grooves a little bit. So there you go. Three helped us out. That's one. One so far. but not class enough. There's two. Oh, wrong double. There's three. I almost went for the double nine after it went in the double eight. There's five. Oh, well, five it is. <laughs> five points. Come on. 
Oh, typical that. I totally messed that up. <laughs> 32 should have done better than that. Three points. I think that's 50 points, if I counted it right. <laughs> 125. Ah. Another 25, that's 50 after six starts. Couldn't get me grip right there. Uh, two 25s, that's 100 after nine. After twelve, oh, I got a bullseye. That's a hundred and seventy five. Right, doubles, one to ball, the old favourite, five. 30 darts at 20, got 32 and 180 round the clock, 52 and bulls 175. It's only the second time I've had 175. So there you go, that's the target Nathan Aspinall Gen 2. Um, it's got a nice front weighted feel, but I'm just not sure it's for me. I don't know why. Sometimes it was flying quite nice, and other times it was going a bit skew whiff, and I don't know if it was. To do with the uh, the way the grip is at the bottom, that point's coming loose. I didn't know that. I thought there was some it loose, but I thought it was the stem. It was the point. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes, it, like I say, my thing, my thumb felt like it was slipping a little bit on the smooth parts. Uh, and other times, I was getting like grip on the top finger, and it would spin a fair bit. But like I said, if you hold it a little bit further up, then you'll be fine. And obviously, it's got the smooth section in the middles, but it it feels okay for throwing from there but if you need grip there's not a lot of grip there but i didn't really think the the rear section is all that grippy anyway so i guess it just depends if you look like a front weighted style and if you're a rear gripper or not quite at the front then it might be worth a look so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them and i'll see you in the next one happy darting